there was a, there was a, a person that had chainsaws and he felt it was time to let go of many employees and his tactic was to uh, disguise himself ever see undercover boss right to disguise himself in uh, different clothes and not to let anybody know that he's the boss but he wanted to see how his employees were acting now he had a chain stores of fishing equipment equipment fishing rods fishing net uh, fishing line all that all the things that you need to go on a good fishing trip so he went to one of his stores and he sees the salesman over there or the person working the front desk or selling over there in the retail store he's talking to people coming in he looks at him he says the guy doesn't look like he knows what he's doing okay let me uncover myself let me tell him who I am and give him the pink slip and tell him it's time to go but let's let's see let's see how he knows how to sell so he's standing from the sidelines he's standing over there on the side and he sees that this person has a customer next to him and he's telling the customer Oh, so you need a good fishing rod, right? The customer says, no, I really don't need it. He says, no, you have to get the top of the line fishing rod. And today only we have 25%. And he tricked him into getting a fishing rod. The person takes the fishing rod. He says, wait a second. You know, now that you got the fishing rod, you need the fishing line. What good is a rod without the good line? He says, no, but I have line. He says, this line that you have, cheap line. Today only you get two for the price of one. I'm telling you, you won't go wrong with this fishing line. He says, okay, fine. Get the line. He says, but... You can't have a fishing rod and a fishing line without a good net. I mean, how, do you, how else do you, do you expect a cat to fish? It's not, I have, I have good net. No, the net that you have is outdated, it's discontinued. You need this net. All right, okay, I'll get the net. He tells him, let me ask you a question. Where do you go fishing? He says, I go fishing in my local uh, place, or pond, or wherever they go fishing. He says, no, no, over there, you don't catch the good fish. You catch the small fish. You want to catch the good fish. The good, uh, I don't know what they sea bass, so the good fish. He says, uh, tuna, Sam, he's a uh, professional in fishing, right? Take us one time, time, all of us fishing, right? He says, you need to catch a good fish. He says, okay, how do I do that? He says, today only, we're running a promotion on yachts. Today only. The same yacht that last year would have costed you $250,000, today only it will cost you $80,000. What do you think? And I'll give you interest-free, three years, easy installments. What do you think? You know, I got the rod, I got the line, I got the net. Why not? We'll get the yacht. Yalla! He buys the yacht. And the customer leaves happy. Now the boss comes over to the salesman and he says, I just got to tell you, you know, I was planning on firing you, but I saw you're amazing. You sold them the rod, the line, the net, the yacht. You're a good salesman. He tells him, you want to hear something funny? He came in, he wasn't even interested in buying anything. He only asked where the bathroom was. Wow, you're really a good salesman. Rabotai, that's the mashal, that's the analogy. The mashal, the lesson. The Yasser Ara, he has nothing to sell us. The Yasser Ara has nothing to sell us. What is he selling us? Ulama Zeh? What's in Ulama Zeh? What are we running after? What's in this world for him to sell us? So he knows there's nothing, he has no good material to sell us. But he's, he tricks us and you need this and you need that and you need this and you need that. Where really we don't need anything. He knows that he doesn't have any good merchandise to sell us. But he tricks us in believing that we need this and we need that. That's Korah. Korah, the Yetzirah, the evil inclination, his evil desires played tricks in his mind so badly that Korah knew that he had everything. He knew he was the richest person. By the way, he was the richest person in Am Yisrael. The Gemara says, what Korah was the richest individual in Ami said Haman was by the Goyim. So we have Korah and Haman. Oh, and by the way, they shared a common denominator. They were both jealous. They were both envy, envious. Korah of Moshe and Haman of Mordechai. Right? The whole world is bowing down to me. But Mordechai, this old timer, this old individual, Yehudi is not bowing down to me. No, 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 no. I can't, I can't have it. But the whole world is bowing down to you. One guy not bowing down to me. That's what envy does. It kills you. You can't live with yourself. That's what jealousy does. So Korah knew he had it. He was the richest individual. He was a Levi. He was carrying the Aaron. But the Yisrael Allah tells him, no, 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 Habibi, but you don't have everything going for you. You're not a Nasi of Shebet Levi. You're not like Moshe Rabbeinu, the leader. You're not like Aaron, the Kohen Gadol. You can't bring the Ketoret. Excuse me, you forgot you're missing a lot of things. So the Yisrael Allah played tricks and he tried to sell merchandise that wasn't there, Rabotai. Rabotai.